It's a bougie snowman. Have you ever seen a bougie snowman? He's bougie. Right, I am back at a Goodwill. I have not been to for months, months, it's been months. So it should be all nice, fresh merchandise. And I have a friend. We're gonna do some shopping, see what we can find. We were supposed to go to the bins, but the bins close at four o'clock. No fair. So we came here instead. All right, we're gonna go in, see what we can find. Oh, those are interesting. Ooh. What is she? Is that an Anna Lee? No, it's ooh, she's heavy. She's singing Joy to the World. She's kind of cute, but she's big and heavy. As you can hear, that music is pretty loud, and I didn't keep talking. Uh, this fooled me. I did not realize it was a candle until I looked at it, and then I was like, oh yeah, it's a candle. Cute. But I just don't hold on to candles because, well, I live in Vegas. Then I spot Tom over here. Wait, or is that Jerry? Which is the cat? Is it Tom or is it Jerry? Anyway, it's Tom or Jerry. I think it's, okay, I think it's J It's Tom. Tom is the cat. Tom cat. Okay. Whew. It is Gorham. It is vintage. I was debating because it was scratched up a little bit, but... I did put this in my cart because for two bucks, how could I go wrong? Can't go wrong. And you'll see at the very end, I'll show you what he's worth. There we go. Yes, there he is. All right, put him in the cart. <laughs> then I spot this dog that it's a made in England Baba Baba Comb Pottery which actually I looked up sells for some pretty good money and there's not many of the dogs out there, but sadly, very, very sadly. Oh, after I show you, you know, that I'm playing with the fact that he's got a hole in his head. I think he's a string holder, but um, here, show him, show him the chip, Danny, show him the chip and the reason you put him back on the shelf. These are just kind of cheaply made figurines. Wasn't sure what was in that bag, but I'm just taking a peek. I I kind of like the little Kachina looking dude all by himself, but not the other stuff. I'm starting to pick up and look at the clear glass a little more. I kind of heard through the grapevine that clear glass is making a comeback or is going to make a comeback. So I'm still not buying like you know un unnamed pieces and all that, but look for some good pieces. This caught my eye, well because. It's a lizard and it's cute. And then I see that it does have a name on it. It is, after I show you what I paid for it. Oh wait, I got distracted because Bree just found a piece of Costa Boda that I passed right by after just telling you about clear glass. <laughs> but yeah, she found that, I missed it. I'm just gonna get a crazy little lizard base, okay? Or... Oh, it does have a... Mother's something. All right, we'll get it. It was Mother's Pugs, which I found interesting for a base with a lizard on it. But there you go. All right. She keeps finding cute little things. Is that other side say California? Maybe? Because Marine Land is in two places. But... Oh, is it? Okay. I but I don't that. think so. I think they just mixed two things together there. And they're being a little crazy. Did you? <gasps> Did you peel? I'm putting it back. You peeled. <laughs> Look at that, you peeled. Okay, so sometimes you just have to peel and you have to look. That was cute, but somebody broke the bottom of it. I really liked this piece. It's a, it's a hobbyist piece. 
know, nothing super expensive, just it's a bird with babies, but it took me a while to notice it, but its beak was broken. Made me very sad. Always very sad when the birdie's beaks get broken. They had a bunch of these Mexican pottery vases marked at $7.99. They are not worth much more than that. These are pretty mass marketed souvenir pieces. They're pretty. They're nice. You can probably get $15 to $20 for them, but at that, uh, at that price point, it's not enough meat on the bones. Wasn't sure what this was until I saw the candle inside, and then I realized it's a candle. Then I spot this cute girl up here. She's kind of cute. A little rag mop. She's made out of a mop head. Why do I like her? I don't know. I don't know if I... Oh wait, blue! Is it blue that's half off? So she's only three bucks. I'm gonna get her. I don't normally pick up dolls like that, but there was just something very appealing about her, and I figure I will offer her in my live sale because you guys like those cute, unique, unique things. Um, I liked this vase until I turned it over and saw all the modern markings and the skew on the bottom. Ooh, yeah, it's just it's art glass. It's not. It's not super special art glass, but I don't know how I feel about that one. It was a nice piece and would sell probably in about the $30 range, but I'm really trying to be more picky these days and just pick up better things. Wasn't a whole lot more on this shelf, but I did like this plaque a whole lot. Hmm. I don't know what that says underneath that. Grasslands Road. I've heard good things about Grasslands Road. They priced it the same. Look at this. It was $3.99 at Grasslands Road. And they're pricing it at $3.99. Come on. But I just couldn't bring myself to buy it when they're pricing it the same as it was for full retail at the store it came from. This guy was cute. The technique looks very familiar to me, like I've sold these before, but I decided to leave him behind. This down here is a piece of that kind of modern, I call it modern goopus glass for lack of a better term. It's, um, it's pretty, but it doesn't have a whole lot of value and a piece that big would be a monster to ship, so just not worth it. And I did consider the duck. How do we feel about the duck? Did you say quack? <laughs> All right. Our Easter section is still pretty pathetic. Oh, those aren't even. Kmart. Cute though. I want to do an Easter themed live sale, so I am just picking up some things like this that are super cute. It'll start at a buck in my in my sale and we'll see where it goes. But he was pretty adorable, even though he did come from Kmart. But since Kmarts are pretty much closed, he could have some value. Actually, he has value. It all has value. It's just about how much value. And then we spot the Marquee by Waterford vase. And I was trying to get this open one-handed pretty unsuccessfully. Um, but I did manage a little bit. There we go. I can see what it is in there. <gasps> there! I got it! Um, now, at $25, that is something I will stop and look up because I'm not going to I'm not going to spring $25 unless I know for a fact the item is worth 50, 60, 70. dollars This is the Brady 9-inch vase and it's priced eh, pretty close to uh, where it should be. But Brie 
went ahead and picked this up to give it as a gift um, because $25 for a piece of Waterford is a very good price. It's just not something you want to pay for a resale, even though you probably could get 40 to 50 for that vase, even so. All right, I'm back to perusing the Christmas sections. This is the, about the time of year, you know, people are cleaning out stuff. Christmas has come and gone. They're not as emotionally attached to stuff. So you can find some pretty cool uh, vintage items in the Christmas. So it's not to be overlooked. And list it because Christmas sells all year long, especially the cute vintage stuff. Now, I looked at these stockings, and I really, really liked them. And this is an item that it really needs to sell closer to Christmas. It doesn't really have a collectability factor. It's more of a cute decoration. So because we're so far from Christmas, I did leave those behind. I did have to look at the dog. And a little of everything. Oh. I don't know, can I show, I can't, I don't think I can show this. I'm going to have to blur his little, that's a must have. <laughs> I can't say it, I can just show it. Okay, so I didn't blur it because, you know, that word does stand for a type of animal. So, I mean, technically it should be fine, right? <laughs> He was just too cute. He's going to end up in a live sale, of course, because I have just way too many dog lovers not to go kind of kind of gaga over that mug because I went gaga over that mug. So I'm going to pass him on. Not really seeing anything else. This was interesting, but again, it's a candle. And I just don't mess with candles because it gets to be like 120 degrees here and I don't want to store and or ship candles. Oh, this is interesting. What is he? It's a bougie snowman. Have you ever seen a bougie snowman? He's bougie. Okay, forgive me, I just love that word. I love saying it, so when I get the opportunity, I use it. <laughs> now this girl is another one of those mop head dolls, and this one ends up being an angel. And she's much larger than the other one as well. So for $2.99, I went ahead and picked her up also. What did you find over there? Open, open, open. Oh, it's nice inside. Oh my gosh, these bring back memories right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got some over there too. You got the bathroom people. Donut creation. Uh, I don't know. You're cute. Oh, it's got real sand in it. I'm really trying to keep as much of my at the moment commentary in as possible. But uh, so this is an experiment. Let me know if this is super annoying going back and forth between the the voiceover and the real thing, or I should just do all voiceover. Love to hear your comments. Love to always try to improve and try new things and see what works. Just let me know. Kind of like that. Somebody made that. Somebody pasted those on there. Ah, tempting. Maybe. Yes. These are really tempting me. I mean, I mean that right there is, that's pretty adorable. Oh, what to do. I think I must get it. Yeah, oh, he's wood. Oh, he was only $5 to begin with. 
He'd be a good giveaway, actually. How much is he? Two bucks. Yes, if you're new to my channel and you have not been to one of my live sales, I do give stuff away. I like these little signs. It just looks like something you'd get from Hobby Lobby, though. Nothing super valuable. I wish there was two of these. I just, I like the look of it, even though it's not super old. When you have a pair and it's kind of got the old look, it does well. My phone is making all kinds of weird noises. Um, this was interesting. I almost picked this up. I really wrestled with picking this up, but I did decide to leave it behind. I just don't have a wall space to keep it for myself and not sure of resale value because it did say 2018. It was not an older piece. I spotted this and it made me think of my wonderful Canadian viewers. Thank you guys for watching. And I don't envy all that coldness you are experiencing as this video is being released. Another really cute piece. But again, it wasn't in the greatest of shape and I don't think it was that old. I really liked these too. These had a really great look to them. Um, again, not, not old, but they had like the vintage advertising under the acrylic. That one was broken. The price point was just a little bit too much for me to be comfortable picking up for resale. I'm not sure what that scene was. If you know, let me know. This was a really nice game board for Chris Criss Cross, hold still, Criss Cross Crib, like a cribbage, I guess. I'd never heard of it. So I left that one for someone else. You know, going through the metal section looks pretty boring because it's hard to really make out the shapes of a lot of that stuff. Um, but I did spot an elephant. Every time I see an elephant now, I think of fat bird finds. I go hang out with them on Friday nights on their channel. They are a lot of fun. Um, this, I'm sure some of you know what all of these hallmarks mean. Uh, I just don't, and I don't have a real interest in the silver plate, so I just tend to leave it behind, even though I'm sure it has value. And again, if you guys know what those marks mean, and I just missed something super good, let me know. Looking through the clear vases, boy, they all look the same today, don't they? Yeesh. And then we're looking in the colored vases. Just not a lot of excitement there. I did look at these little bottles, but they were very, very modern. You can tell that, you know, after you've handled some old ones and then you see like the more contemporary ones, you get a feel for what's old and what's new. And that was not an old piece either. Then there was this. This is a good example of a cheap glass, as you can see, from Marshalls, and just very poorly done. There's just no quality to it. And this is a piece trying to look like an Italian vase. Um, but again, it's a like a TJ Maxx kind of knockoff kind of thing. Lots of knockoffs out there now, sadly. This looked like a hobbyist piece. It was cute. Now we are on to the glass. I tell you, if you specialized in selling sets of glassware, the thrift stores are full of really good glass. These were interesting. They are made in Mexico. This, this pair sells for about 16 bucks, as you can see. I think the ones with the blue rims do much better. I looked at these bell glasses. They were vintage. I'm not sure who makes them. But again, we are so far from Christmas. They just didn't excite me enough. The blue in that was just so striking. I just had to take a closer look. And I'm looking over at what looks to be Amberina glass. But uh, you'll you'll see it's not. This is a nice set of just etched 
wine glasses. I was looking for a mark. There was not one. And they wanted $4 each on these. Just nothing really exciting me today. I did take a closer look at all of the what appeared to be amberina glass down below, but they were more just kind of a hazy orange once I like picked it up and looked closer. They just were not, I don't know, maybe I missed something good, but they just didn't seem that great to me. And then I spot this canister set. Um, these two roosters. Now I know these are not old, but they were really cute and, you know, cute sells. Now I will sell these at the booth. I don't want to ship canisters, um, but I did pick them up because the price was right. And this piece is like one of those recycled glass, like either Eco Glass or San Miguel. And I would have picked up this piece had it not been for the chip on the edge, which is really hard to see, but trust me, it was there and it was sharp. And again, I, I love this. Style likes to make some cute things like the, the apple, you know, literally had a bite out of it. Um, it had a big chip. That's why I left that behind. Otherwise, I probably couldn't have resisted that because it was really super cute. Now this bowl really caught my eye. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but when I turned it over, you can see Sparter Sweet Gum, J.B. Nelson signed. Even without the lid, I can put a, a flower arrangement in that and get really good money for it because it's a really nice piece of wood. And I just happened to think this was a really cool color. And to my surprise, these were the Wachterspach. <laughs> At, at, um, oh, you know what? I thought I paid 69 cents for both of them. I just realized I paid $1.99. That's okay. It was still a good buy. And then I found this little miniature uh, souvenir set, Las Vegas. I went ahead and I picked that up as well. I'm not sure why. It's not worth a whole bunch. I might use that as a giveaway. This was an interesting little uh, row of shelves here, and I, I, I went ahead and I took, took the camera off and I went through just to check a little closer, but there was nothing good. This is Pickford. Yeah, this is probably a pretty decent piece. It's got the Art Deco design, but at $5.99, I decided to leave it. I'm always looking at these colors to see if they're Fiesta to go with some of the, the cups that I have bought in the past, but I never find them. This is a cute set. I just thought the way it's all together on that little rack was really nice, but those, those cups were really tiny, like espresso cups. Does anybody drink espresso at home in little tiny cups? Or do you pour a big cup of espresso? These were Pier 1, and they were really nice bowls, and I would have picked them up had it not been for the fact that they had tons of spoon scratches. And I know some of you tell me, yeah, those will clean out, but I don't have time to put any more work into the stuff I buy, so I will leave those for someone who has a little more time to give them. I mean, I give stuff a wipe down, and that's about it. Time is money. You hear me say it all the time. Ha ha, time. I said it again. Okay, nothing exciting except I found this really adorable little bowl. And it took me the longest time to realize it was broken. I was totally going to buy this for Rachel. Because Rachel eats a lot of cereal. And she would have loved this. But he was, he was pretty broken. A little wayward glass. Okay, you know I had to pick this up. I will have to have Rachel make this for me. He's just a little kit. 
And then I spot Shamu. And I don't know what made me actually look this up because I almost left it behind, but I thought, you know what? I don't know how old this is. So I looked it up and sure enough, it sells for like 25 bucks. So now I'm looking through the shelf and go, okay, what else did they uh, stick over here? Oh, doggy, your head doesn't move. I have to fix you. There we go. Much, much, much better. I did a quick look through the lamps because it just, it looked like there was a lot and they had potential. And the only one that really had potential was just completely busted up, which kind of broke my heart. I would have bought that one. Totally would have bought that one. And then I, I liked this one, but it also was pretty chipped up. So I left that one behind as well. No lamps today. I was so excited to find this blanket. It is the waffle pattern with the satiny little edge. Those were my clues. Uh, I read about this, that this was a $70 blanket. Okay, did I wear you out? You ready to check out? <laughs> See what goodies you got in your cart. Ooh, you're gonna get the water for Nice. I think I am because I went to Ireland. My mother said, you know, ship me back some water for And I said, oh. six, but I never got anything else. Nice. Okay. So okay. Little Kia is earning its keep. We got everything in from a nice shopping trip. Look at that. We're good to go.